What kind of polygons belong in the black portions? Welcome to Mr. Sanchez and his man. Today we're going to be talking about the TIG 5.5a, classifying two-dimensional figures. Specifically, we're going to be talking about the type of quadrilaterals, okay? So this is the lesson 5 out of 5, the last one of this TIG. Whenever we're talking about quadrilaterals, we're going to divide them by their parallel sides. So we have a shape on the left side and on the right side. Let's start with the one on the left side. If you check the parallel sides, how many parallel sides do you see? You see one pair of parallel sides and also two pairs of parallel sides. Whenever you're checking the angles, the opposite angles are congruent whenever you see this shape. On the right side now, I see one pair of parallel sides and also this shape could have two possible pairs of perpendicular sides. The one on the left side, we're gonna call it a parallelogram because it has two pairs of parallel sides. So the one on the right side, we're gonna call it a trapezoid. Also the little one over there, we're gonna call it right trapezoid, okay? Now, this parallelogram, we're gonna divide them into two big groups. The one on the left side and the one on the right side. The one on the left side, okay? Let's check how it, how it is organized by their angles. How are the angles of this one? Yes, we have four right angles. Now let's talk about the one on the right side. We're gonna divide them according to their sides. What do you realize about the sides? Yes, all the sides are congruent. So with that being said, if you have a parallelogram that has four right angles, this one is gonna be a rectangle. If you have a parallelogram that has all sides congruent, this is gonna be a rhombus. And now there's one shape that is a rectangle and a rhombus at the same time. I think you know this shape, right? This shape has four right angles as who? As the rectangle, yes. And also it has as the rhombus, all sides congruent. This shape we're gonna call it square, okay? So check out this diagram, please. This is the best way to represent the quadrilaterals. Now, let's show time. What kind of polygons belong in the black portions? Well, inside the quadrilaterals we have one but it's outside parallelograms. So that means that if it's not a parallelogram, but it's also quadrilateral, that means that it could be a, yes, a trapezoid. Now, the other one is inside rectangles. So it's inside rectangles. I know that the only shape that is, if it could be inside rectangles, it has to be square. It's not rhombus because rhombus will be inside parallelogram. Now you know the different types of quadrilaterals. If we're talking about the same diagram that we have been using before, remember that we have been talking about two-dimensional figures, polygons, then type of polygons, then triangles, and now we are adding quadrilaterals. Thank you very much, guys. This was Mr. Sanchez and his math. Today we were working with the TIG 5.5a classifying two-dimensional figures. We were talking specifically about types of quadrilaterals. Thank you very much. This was the last lesson of this TIG. Before you leave, take some notes. Have a great day.